Today we'll be going it over the last in first out inventory costing method. Why do we use it? LIFO provides a more accurate depiction of ending inventory and cost of goods sold. This also leads to a more accurate net income. LIFO is based on the assumption that customers buy newer products rather than older ones. I like to remember this by thinking of new Apple products. As the newer iPhones come out, we are more likely to buy those rather than the older ones. LIFO is also often used because it leads to lower income taxes. LIFO impact. We live in a time of rising prices, so it is safe to assume inventory bought later costs more than inventory bought earlier. Gross profit equals sales minus COGS. Because LIFO leads to a higher COGS, gross profit is usually lower under this method. Taxes due equals net income times the tax rate. Because LIFO leads to a lower gross profit, the amount of taxes paid is usually lower as well. The less income made, the less taxes paid. In this example, we see that Bella Beauty sells different shades of eyeshadow. Below are the purchases Bella has made of inventory throughout the period. Bella Beauty uses the LIFO inventory costing method. On January 1st, we see that Bella Beauty purchased 20 different eyeshadow palettes for $20 each. On March 15th, we see that they bought 25 eyeshadow palettes for a cost of $25 each. And on April 1st, we see that they bought 30 eyeshadow palettes for a cost of $30 each. On April 25th, Bella Beauty sells 35 eyeshadow palettes to Baylor's theater department. Using the LIFO inventory method, what is Bella Beauty's cost of goods sold for this transaction? Because we're using the LIFO method, we assume that the last things purchased were the first things sold. So the first thing we do is take all of the units from our April 1st purchase, which would be 30, and multiply that by the $30 purchase price. That gives us a total of 900. However, we still have five more eyeshadow palettes sold to Baylor. We will then take those from the March 15th purchase and multiply those by the purchase price of $25. This gives us a total cost of goods sold of $1,025. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true no matter what accounting class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services. Our tutoring center is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You will find all the details you need to know about these services on our website, www.baylor.edu slash tutoring. You may schedule a free 30 minute one-on-one -on -one tutoring session online, or just drop in during any of our open business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.